So as I started tying the, the bookshelf down to my trailer, Morgan just strolls over to like an upright mailbox on the front lawn and just starts trying to wrench it out of the ground. Just really putting his back into it. Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, you okay, buddy? He's like, yep. Mm -hmm. He pulls it out of the ground, whereupon he wields it like a fucking battle axe and just starts smashing up the front garden, just beheading the daisies, fucking up the lavender. I'm like, oh, hey, Morgan, maybe you want to stop and think about that. And he wheeled around and looked at me like Jack Nicholson chasing Shelley Duval up the stairs in The Shining and said, why don't you mind your own fucking business? Yep. Yep, cool, man. Yep, yep. Now, I like tying knots. I'm quite good at tying knots. If I tie something down, I take my time because I want it to stay there. But as Morgan nonchalantly strolled up the driveway, rolled up the garage door, and put the mailbox through the windscreen of an Audi, I must admit, I kind of rushed my knot tying job. I got in the car. I'm about to drive off. I'm like looking at the house going, ah. Oh, Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. And then an armchair smashed out of an upstairs window and just went doink, 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 doink down the front lawn. I was like, <sighs> what's my duty of care in this situation? <laughs> I didn't want to call the cops on him. I didn't want him to trash the house. I'm like, ah, fuck, I'm going to have to talk to Morgan. <laughs> so I got out, I walked up the driveway, shitting myself. You know when someone does something really violent and you're just like, ah, Fuck, we're not supposed to do shit like that. <laughs> yucky, just yucky feeling in my tum-tum. And I'm standing there, standing there in the garage, and there's like an adjoining door in the garage that leads into the house. I can see in through the, through the door into the house, up the staircase. It's like a wooden staircase, and I'm standing in the garage just going, yeah, fuck. <laughs> Morgan. <laughs> Like I was calling a cat for its dinner. Like, Muggin! Muggy, 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 muggy! And then I notice a small trickle of water start to come from the top step. And then a little bit more water, and then, so, and then quite a lot of water. Just pissing down the stairs like a shitty water feature. I'm like, ah, oh, that can't be right. And then Morgan appeared on the top step holding a hammer like this. Bah! I was like, whoa! He's like, Bruh! Starts running at me, wielding the hammer, going, I'm like, oh, no, man, I just wanted to buy your bookshelf. He's like, Rrr. Rrr. Runs straight past me. I'm like, where are you going? He's like, Rrr. Made a beeline for my car. I'm like, no, man, stop. He's like, Rrr. Stop it, just stop. He spins around and goes, I just checked my phone. She texted me 15 minutes ago saying she'll be here in 15 minutes. We gotta go! And gets into my car. <laughs> Jesus, fuck me. <laughs> I run down the lawn, get in the driver's seat. I'm like, what was with the water? He goes, oh, I put plugs in all of the sinks and turned all the taps on. I'm like, oh, that's fucked. He's like, just drive. I was like, nah. I took off so quick, rounded the corner at the end of his street, and the bookshelf just went, boosh, and exploded against the guardrail. Just exploded in a shower of badly tied knots and broken dreams. <laughs> so me and Morgan just fucking left it there. Like a little breadcrumb for his ex-wife to find on the way home to her destroyed gingerbread house. I dropped Morgan at a train station. I have never seen him again. <laughs> and that, my friends, is why I no longer shop on Gumtree. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> you know my favourite bit of that story? I just made it up. <laughs> yeah, it's not true. There is no Morgan. Oh! It's very unsatisfying, isn't it? But I saw him in my head. I saw Morgan in my head. Why is it we can feel so robbed when someone tells us a story we just heard isn't true and yet so satisfied at the end of a fictional novel? Huh? No, no, no. No, no, no.